Song is stuck in my head. Anyway, moving along. This is Elliot the Unstoppable back at it again. And welcome to the Nubian Herbal Build Show. Okay, so first of all, I want to say thank you to all of the people that show me love by liking my videos, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate it. To remind you that once again, don't forget to like and comment on this video. As well as the videos to come. All right. So going through the process of introducing the Nubian Herbal Build Show, the alternatives that you know we can use or you can use, I can use. I would say it's the perfect time to break down what is a pH level meeting. I'm pretty sure that you heard of it. For women, they would say that their pH balance is off, and we already know when a woman's pH balance is off, we know what happens, I ain't gotta explain it. Well, let's start off with pH. pH, it means potential hydrogen, and the pH scale consists of, of a scale that basically measures between foods that's acidic and alkaline, right? Start off with acidic foods. Foods is on the bottom of the pH level which are processed foods, what happens is that it will cause your body to build up mucus. The only way sickness can grow is, a, is in a mucus environment. So the more processed foods you eat, the more acid is added to your body, the more mucus is built up, the more you're susceptible to sickness. Why is this important? Because a lot of times when we get sick, you gotta realize that 90% of the time, I would say 90 to like 95% of the time, the reason why we're unhealthy or we're not on point with our health is because what we put in our mouth. With the acidic food, the processed food, that's at the lower part of the pH level meter. Also, with the acidic foods, it will cause like inflammation, we know that. It will, it will throw a woman's pH balance off. It will like go back to what I said about the leaky gut syndrome, the um, inflammation, the eczema. Uh, let me see. Even acidic foods will cause a person like your body can't really digest the acidic food properly. Basically, what happens is that your body shuts off, shuts itself off trying to digest the food that it cannot. So that's why you you'll get that feeling of diabetes. So, with these acidic foods, is not good. At the bottom of the list, not good at all. And we already know, also from acidic foods, it can cause cardiovascular disease and all these other sicknesses. Now let's go to the alkaline um, meter, way on the list. Like a 9.0, I believe, is the most. So... With the alkaline foods, it keeps your body electric and it keeps your body away, like it keeps the mucus away. Alkaline food is like the daily cleaner for your body to keep all toxins or mucus, sickness and everything away. Because when alkaline foods are applied to your body, your body can take the nutrients that it needs that from the vitamin A, B, C, um, K, so on and so forth, to supply your body the nutrients that your body needs. Going back to acidic foods for a second, that's another thing. If you are high off of eating acidic foods, not only do you slow down your digestive system, but um, which will prevent you from using the bathroom regularly on a daily basis, but also it will also prevent your body from receiving the vitamins and minerals that you need. It's very important that when we eat our when we eat food, that our, the pH level of the foods, and we do this through research, and I'm going to explain this as we go, that we eat foods of a higher number. Even if you can't 
afford like the highly expensive alkaline fluids. There are cheaper options, which I will explain as we go as well. But also, if you like, if you if you know you're going to eat acidic food, like try to think of a balance of some alkaline like components or or alkaline food that you can properly balance with the acidic food so you can be at a neutral pH level. Or if you ate the acidic food, try to at least eat the alkaline food afterwards to bring your pH level back up so your body can function correctly. Or try to eat the alkaline food before to bring your pH level to get your body to work properly. So it's very important that we take care of our bodies. Remember our bodies are like a car and our bodies are also like a computer and can be like a fan. If you don't pop properly clean your car, your computer, or even your fan, what happens? It breaks down. And that's what happens with the body. I just want you to think mucus and the acidic foods, that's the dust building up in your system that will hinder the car, the computer, and the fan from working correctly. All right, y'all, so that's it. That concludes what is pH, what is a pH level. And I'm gonna break down some um, expensive alternatives and some cheap alternatives as we go for um, alkaline foods to help your body form in the perfect balance it's supposed to perform as they call it the optimum level. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. This is Elliot the Unstoppable. Remember to hit that button right there. You see that button? Hit it. All right, y'all. Also, remember to like and comment. That's it. All right, y'all. Peace.